Hey guys, Ite One Sammy here. Another walking video. I haven't done one of these in a while because it's been winter. <laughs> but today is a sunny, sunny Sunday. It's like 14, 15 degrees here. Oh, so beautiful. Got to put away all the winter clothes starting uh, in the next couple of days. Yeah, the weather's definitely getting better. <clears throat> it looks like, uh, I think, uh, so today is February 23, I think. Um, in the next couple of days, um, the uh, nighttime temperature is going to stop being below zero. I mean, right now it's only like minus one, minus two, but we've got one more little cold coming in like uh, minus four, minus five uh, in a couple of days. And then after that, sunny and clear. So definitely summer is on the way. Um, so today I'm talking about a very controversial topic. And this is just my personal opinion based on uh, experience that I have had. So uh, the reality is, is that dating in Korea is not easy. Uh, and I'm going to talk specifically about dating uh, as a foreigner, dating Koreans, Korean girls. So um, now this is just my opinion based on living here for 10 years and the experiences I have had and the things that I have heard, okay, or observed uh, firsthand. So this is just stereotyping, uh, this is just personal opinion, this doesn't mean that it happens everywhere or every single time. Um, so this is gonna be a two-parter. First part is like, um, you know, uh, how to properly date a Korean uh, girl. Um, and then part two next week, I'm gonna talk about some of the cons or pitfalls that you might experience uh, being uh, if you're not attuned to the culture here so first thing um, there's something here called skinship which means uh, physical touch and it is frowned upon and again this is just stereotyping but generally if you're meeting a Korean Korean you do not touch them it may be shake the hand but otherwise there's no hand holding there's no you know putting the arm around them or you know grabbing them or something like that that is very very frowned upon um, and very disrespectful um, so that's the first thing uh, the second thing is uh, the easiest way to meet someone is to be introduced uh, by a friend and that's called uh, so getting where you're set up on a blind date so if you have a good Korean friend um, you're gonna ask them to help you out Another way is also to join um, an English language exchange program. You can meet some really nice people there. Um, or church. That's another way too. Or like groups. You know, like uh, uh, you know, biking groups or any kind of like, you know, social group. Again, I'm, I'm going to preface this. This is how to meet, you know, a regular girl. If you want to meet a girl, obviously you go to the clubs or the bars and stuff like that. that I mean, I don't need to tell you about that, but this is how to meet a girlfriend. And you can also meet a girlfriend at the club or the bar, but you know what you're talking. You know what I'm talking about here, okay? So um, that's the second way. So what I've experienced here is that if you click your boyfriend girlfriend very quickly, like within three dates, you know I've known people who have gone on three dates. And within six weeks, they're engaged, and within a couple of months, they're married. It happens that fast. But those are Koreans, like a Korean marrying a Korean. Foreigners, it, it probably, I've seen it happen, but it's not the norm. <clears throat> so, uh, let's get back to it. So, what to expect? Now, the other thing is, as well, is that you have to, depending on the age of the girl uh, she's going to expect a few things you know the first thing is is like constant texting like we're talking multiple multiple times a day like dozens dozens um, the other thing is um, you know she's gonna expect you to take her out um, you're going to have to pay um, Again, depending on the girl, um, 
her age and her background, um, she's going to expect you to pay. Um, she's going to expect you to take out her friends and her. Um, there is some shopping involved, but that is more of like after you've been dating for a while, you can ask her, oh, do you want to go shopping? You can take her shopping. They like that. The other thing as well is um, little gifts. Korean girls love little gifts. You know, like flour, a little stuffed animal, chocolate. Nothing expensive, but the, the, the little gift. They like to be doted upon. Again, please, this is just my experience, okay? I've dated westernized Korean girls, I've dated Korean Korean girls, I've dated young, and I've dated older. So the reality is, is this is just my experience, okay? Um, so the other thing that uh, you need to expect when, when dating a Korean girl is that uh, you need to be properly groomed. She's going to expect that. Um, yeah. Wash your hair, brush your teeth, use deodorant, iron your clothes, wear nice clothes, because she is going to uh, always, always look at her best. You're, you're, you're probably never going to see her without makeup. Um, what else? Those are some of the, you know, like how to. I'm. I'm probably not the best person to ask because, well, I do date and I mean, obviously you guys know that I, I work in a club, but I don't date like people I meet in the club. I mean, I, the most, what I do is I get introduced to people. So I'll have a friend at the club who will introduce me to someone because they think I'm a nice guy or, well, they know I'm a nice guy and they will introduce me to one of their friends and we'll go out on a date. Um, so that's how, how I meet people. Uh, the other thing is I really don't have time. Running a business and running the club, you know, I barely have time to sleep, let alone go out on a date. Uh, as most of you know, I've been, in the last 12 years since I got divorced, I've been pretty well single. The longest relationship I had was six weeks. The last girlfriend I had was October 2017, and that lasted a month or two. Um, yeah, till, yeah, yeah, over a year ago. Um, so, it's not easy to date. Now, oh, the other thing is, is that you, I'm gonna leave that to the cons next week, uh, like things to expect when you date a, a Korean girl. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I, I guess that's it. It's, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not difficult compared to uh, um, dating anywhere in the world. It's just here you need to be aware of some of the some of the uh, cultural differences. Um, and I'll give you like a number one tip. Learn Korean. If you can speak Korean, you will go, get, go a long way to dating in this country. If you are well-groomed, again, long way. And then the final thing is if you're rich. You know, you gotta have money. I mean, that's true in any country in the world. Right? It always helps, but here it's more of a status uh, symbol, right? So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to leave it at that and check out part two, which is going to be in about a week. I'll do that. And I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and my friends uh, from Morocco who, you know, constantly commenting and giving me the support. I really appreciate that. Uh, Aldi Sammy, you are my number one fan. I really appreciate it. Uh, I thank you for, you know, checking me out all the time. I got some news coming up, so 
keep your eye out for that uh, on an upgrade that I'm doing to my channel. And I will talk to you guys soon. Itaewon Sammy, out.